Hello everyone, welcome to Cook For Your Wife. Robert here. Today we're going to do chicken Lombardi. It's not real hard, just a few ingredients. When you get it all done, put it in the oven for 15-20 minutes, you're good to go. Shall we get started? All right, we're gonna start doing some mushrooms and get those cooking. I got about two packs of mushrooms. Just showing you how I'm slicing them up, and then uh, I will speed up the rest of the cutting of the mushroom so you're not to uh, have to sit there and watch me slice every mushroom. I got about two tablespoons of butter in the skillet here, and that's where we're going to put the mushrooms and start cooking once we get them all cooked up. So let me uh, cut these all up. Hang on. Okay, last mushroom here, and as you can see, they kind of move around, and so what I do is I cut it a couple times until we get to the flat section right there, and then I flip it over so it don't move on me, and then I just chop it up. That easy. I'm going to put them in the pan. Now we're going to cook these until they're start to caramelize and turn golden brown. So I need my spoon here. So they will cook down. That's the reason uh, why for so many mushrooms because we want them to look nice and golden. Okay, got my mess here. Flinging one out of the pan. So next we're gonna do some green onions and we're going to dice these up and uh, just put them in the bowl. Okay. Now what I do with these is I'm left handed so it might look a little weird to you guys. So I like to roll them up real tight and just slice. Okay. Slice the thickness that you want and presto we got green onions the whole bunch all at one time and if it starts getting too when you get to the end you roll them up some more just nice and easy it gets it all done no need for doing one or two at a time when you can do the whole thing okay set those to the side now we're going to put these in our bowl and set those for later And the reason I'm doing it like this, that's basically the only thing, only vegetable left I have to cut up. And I'm getting ready to butterfly chicken. So I don't want to cross contaminate everything and keep having to clean my cutting boards. So we're going to set those to the side for later use. And next we're going to start butterflying this chicken. Okay, let me reach in front of you guys. Sorry. And uh, open this chicken up. And we're going to trim it the way that I want it. We got five big breasts here. So I'm going to trim this piece of fat off. And then we're going to get ready to start cutting it. Stir up these mushrooms. Turn the heat up a little bit more so they start cooking. Now we're going to butterfly. Like I said, you're going to go halfway with your knife and gently just get in there.
Okay. All the butter is almost cooked out. So turn it up the heat up a little bit more. Get these to brown. Mm, mm -mm. Smelling good. Smelling good. Now in this pan here, we're going to put two tablespoons of butter. We're going to turn it on. It can be on low while we're doing all this. And we are going to open up our vegetables that we're going to use, which I'm using baby lima beans and edamame as a vegetable. So. Put those in there and the edamine that the edamine that we bought is already shelled so that made it a lot easier okay just put two packs in there for now and then we're going to salt it He jammed up. There we go. Okay. Let's let her mess with this. You gotta love the grinder sometimes. Okay, mushrooms are starting to get brown. Okay, and my lid came off. Okay, I'll look at that in a minute. Okay, as the mushrooms get brown, Okay, we're going to put these in a separate pan. We'll put the lid on our vegetables and let those slowly cook. Let me get another bowl here. To put our mushrooms in. Mm. Set these to the side. And we're going to put a couple tablespoons of butter in this pan here. And we're going to take our chicken. And we're going to run it through the flour. Just dredge it through the flour and put two breasts in there. Like so. And you're going to brown these on each side. You don't want to overcrowd your pans. You want to uh, make sure there's plenty of room so the breasts will brown. 
and uh, and we're gonna cook all these breasts up and start laying them into this baking dish when they're done okay I'll be right back when we get that done just hang tight okay guys we're back as you can see I got all the chicken brown it took two pans to do that in and uh, what we're going to do next is sprinkle the mushrooms evenly over all the chicken in this pan that you've seen smoking just a minute ago. All the flour and all that good stuff. So we're going to turn that up back on the medium. And it's three quarters cup of Marcella wine. So we're going to put that in there. And since I'm doubling the recipe, because I did such a big pack, we'll just put another three quarters cup. Okay, and well there's not much left in there, so we might as well just dump the whole bottle in there. What the hell? Now we're going to do a half a cup of chicken stock. So that'll be one full cup for doubling. One full cup. Okay. And then we're going to salt and pepper it. Just a little bit of pepper. And some salt, without the toothpicks, preferably. See how good I am about shaking that. Okay, we're going to bring that to a boil. And I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan here to make sure all that stuff comes up. And we're going to bring it to a boil. And then after it starts boiling, we're going to let it simmer uncovered for 10 minutes. All right, we're back. So our mixture has been simmering for 10 minutes. And now we are going to ladle it evenly over the chicken. And to the other one. See if I can do this. Okay, and we'll set this over here. Okay, now that we got the sauce on there, we're going to take our green onions and Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese that we mixed up, and we're going to put a layer of that on. Okay, then we're going to put it in the oven at 450 degrees till the cheese starts to turn brown and then it's done. So let's put that in there. Okay, and I'll put it on for 20 minutes about because our chicken is bigger. So I want to make sure everything is done. So, but I will check it periodically. I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, welcome back. As you can see, we have them out of the oven. The cheese is nicely toasted brown, and now we're gonna get ready to plate it. Oh, I can't wait. Well, there you go. Chicken Lombardi. I hope you guys make it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. We're going to enjoy it right now. All right, you guys. Have a good day.